Donkey of the Day for Thursday, July 19th goes to a young man named Kelton Griffin. Now, Kelton is from Memphis, Tennessee. Salute to everyone who listens to us on K97, 97.1 in Memphis. Drop on the clues bombs for K97. Okay? Now, let me tell you something. Whenever I hear women say all men are trash, I'd be like, relax. Okay? All men aren't trash. Just at certain points in our lives. All right? Mostly in our youth, we are trash. Now, don't get me wrong. Some young F-boys only grow physically, not spiritually, mentally, or emotionally. So... They grow, grow, grow from F-boys to F-men, but that's another conversation. Today we are talking about a trash-ass F-boy. Okay, uh, I, I got to give y'all this one, women, all right? You. I couldn't even defend this one if I tried, okay? If a woman says to you, Kelton Griffin is trash after hearing this story, all you can say is, well, I can see why you say that. See, Kelton took a young lady named Faith Pew out on a date, but in true F-boy fashion, he didn't have a car. But that's cool. You know, Faith got a whip, a nice little black Volvo she's stunting on these hoes with in Memphis. So Kelton and Faith went on a date in Faith's car, but Kelton drove, though. Okay, that's the least you can do when you ask a woman on a date, but you don't have a car. Take the wheel, my brother, take the wheel. And also, my brothers, don't ask a woman on a date if you don't have a vehicle to pick her up in. Now, if you both agree to meet somewhere cool, you know what I mean? You take your Ubers, your cabs, whatever you got to do, your buses, however you get there. But if you ask her out and tell her you want to pick her up and take her somewhere, make sure you got your own wheels. Borrow a friend's car. Do something. But to ask a woman to take her out and then to tell her you don't got no car and you want to drive hers, that's just a different level of trifling. But... Faith earned her name because Faith is taking the first step even when you don't see the whole staircase. In Faith's case, she went on the first date even though she already saw the first sign that he was an F-boy. Would you like to hear how the date progressed? Let's go to WREG Channel 3 CBS for the report, please. Faith Pugh says when her date showed up Saturday, he didn't even bring his own car. Pugh says she knew Kelton Griffin from high school, but hadn't really spoken to him much when he reached out and suggested dinner. They took Pugh's black Volvo. Then Griffin couldn't make up his mind where he wanted to take her. They ended up at this airport area gas station. He asked me, could I go in the gas station for him to get a cigar? Turns out that was a mistake. He just drove up. I came outside and my car was gone. Her mother picked her up. And then she got a surprising message from her god sister. The same man who had just stolen her car had asked her god sister out. I said, okay, well, send me the address to where you at, and I'm on my way and tell him to come on. They used the GPS tracking on her phone to tail him, all the way to this drive-in theater, where they say they find Griffin in Pew's stolen car with her god sister on another day. He then he let her drive, so she drove him to the uh, drive-in. He didn't even have any money. She actually paid their way to get in the drive-in just so I could get my car back. They called police. Griffin was arrested on the spot. (laughs) Kelton asked Faith to go on a date, didn't have a car, took her car, pulled up to a gas station, told her to go get him a cigar, then drove off, picked up another woman, made that woman drive him to the movies and paid for the movie. Sheesh. Drop on the clues bombs for Kelton. I'm a, it's like, hard I'm a, out here. I'm a, I'm a stern believer that whatever you are, be the best at it. And Kelton is one of the greatest F boys of all time. I must say, the F boy I used to be is proud of this young man, but the man I've become is disgusted because I'm the type of person I like to plan all the way to the end. Of course, your good plan is never God's plan for you, but you know you can at least attempt to plan all the way to the end. And in the case of Kelton, he didn't think this through because what I want to know is how was you gonna return Faith's car? What were you going to say to her after you just drove off, left her in a gas station? Like, what did you think was going to happen? But here's the thing, Kelton. You know, uh, he, he is who he is. See, Kelton got arrested for robbing a Shoney's. Think about that. Who robs the Shoney's? They got the fresh food bar, all you care to eat family favorites on Monday, endless seafood on Friday. Like, they're literally giving away food. So who takes from a giver like Shoney? Shoney's. Kelton, let's go back to WREG TV Channel 3 CBS for the report again. In 2016, police say he and two other men ate out and then robbed the restaurant. Rob the Shoney's after I eat there. We're going to rob this place on a Wednesday after we partake in this endless breakfast for dinner. But, you know, we, we, we did what we had to do. Okay, look, man, Kelton is who he is. He's a grimy F-boy, okay, who can't be trusted on any level. And people like that don't really evolve. All right, there's nothing good in Kelton. Goodness is about character, integrity, honesty, kindness, generosity, moral courage. And more than anything else, it is about how you treat people, okay? Kelton, goodness, nah. Okay, goodness is a concept that career F-boys will never grasp, okay? It's the difference between having F-boy tendencies and being an F-boy to the core. Which one do you think Kelton is? Please let Remy Ma give Kelton Griffin the biggest hee-haw. Hee-haw, hee-haw, you stupid motherfucker. Are you dumb?